1476, the dawn of a new era for Italy. Art, culture, and science are flourishing under the guidance of inspired minds. Renaissance. This is probably the way history will remember us. But in the shadows far from the gold and the knowledge lies another truth. Corruption. Betrayal. Murder. Secrets. Secrets so dangerous that I must hide them even from my own family. Family, justice, honor. These are the values guiding my blade. This truth is written in blood, and the shadows are where I strike. I am Giovanni Auditore, and like my ancestors before me, I am an assassin. I stopped them before they left Florence. Unfortunately, your magnificence, the fourth man escaped. What have you heard, Giovanni? Rumors about an important event that would cause a shift of power. That man you capture, has he spoken yet? He will tell us what he knows. Oh, 
the day of Christmas, the high mass for the feast of Santo Stefano. <laughs>
head's just learning fast. He reminds me of you. Ezio, remember, you need to think ahead. Don't wait for your opponent to move. Anticipate and surprise him. How are you, Father? Good, good. Good. Father, Federico. With the death of the Duke of Milano, Lorenzo de' Medici has lost a powerful ally. I am sure that his enemies already plot their next move. Sforza's death was not the end. It was just the beginning. And I know where to fight my next battle. Well in the past. That is why we are entrusting you to send this letter to our master. It's perfect. It's just perfect. After all these years, our time has come, cousin. Yes. You must protect this letter with your life until it is delivered to you, understand me? Go to Campo San Anzolo. Next to the wine merchant, there is a statue. Our man will be waiting for you there. Not fail us. Defacio Felicia. Did you 
find anything in Venice. I intercepted this letter. Take a look, Your Magnificence. It bears the seal of the Barbarigos. I never trusted them. An encrypted letter. It will take several hours to unlock its secrets. I'll send for you when it's done, Giovanni. Get some rest. Father Maffei. Disappoint me, Father Maffei. Go fetch Giovanni. Tell him you will need to travel shortly. I will wake Lorenzo. And Father, remember, you owe us your silence. Secrets are born here, and they die here. No one is to know about the content of this letter. Capish? Good. You can go now. I promise. Our son is watching. <laughs> I know. You should talk to him. I will. Tell me, Papa, why is it that a banker leaves so often in the middle of the night? Business calls, son. I may come with you. No. Why not? I need you to assist your brother. Take care of the family while I'm away. I want to help you, Father. You're helping more than you know, Ezio. More than you know. Exact copy. Father Rimundi is working on one as we speak. Why? We were unable to decipher it. The only way to unlock the secrets of this letter and find out who masterminded Sforza's assassination is to deliver it and see where it will lead us. Your Magnificence, I know exactly where in Rome the Barbarigos wanted the letter to be delivered. I can go. Father Maffei, is it ready? Rome is a dangerous city, my dear Giovanni. Are you sure you want to carry out this mission without any help? Yes, for the safety of Florence and the honor of the Medici. So be it. Find the pit where these snakes hide, and be merciless. May the Father 
of understanding be with us. Has Rodrigo Borgia become a messenger now? When necessary, Your Holiness. The death of the Duke of Milano changes many things. Is it really? The alliances of men are fragile. Even the cities can change hands as easily as money. As long as God is on our side. Amen. I am told that Lorenzo de Medici does not show much respect for our position. That is true. But you could force them to obey you. Florence is weak now. We should take advantage of it. With your help... It's not part of my office to consent to the death of anyone. But my concern is the greater good of the Republic of Florence. Therefore, I am prepared to offer my spiritual support. And military help to ensure order is maintained. Preserve the honor of the Holy See, Rodrigo. You can count on me, Your Holiness. For the man who just came in, you must have seen him. Where did he go? It has been very quiet here today. I have seen no other man besides you. The hood covered his face. He wore black clothes. I cannot help you. Maybe God can. Pray. And you will find the answer.
Your blade won't be enough, assassin. What happens now is up to you. You have a unique set of skills, Giovanni. That's your name, isn't it? A set of skills I'd be delighted to have on my side. What side is that? The side that is going to win a war you don't even know has begun yet. The world is changing under your feet, Giovanni. Join us, and you may live to see it. Borgia. Yes, I know your name too. And I also know how this is going to end. With your fantasy in ruins, an assassin's blade in your throat. <laughs> we shall see. He's all yours. Get him! They'd almost pierced your heart. You haven't spoken a word since you've returned. What's going on, Giovanni? Sforza's assassination was just the beginning. This is a vast conspiracy, Maria. I'm pretty sure the next step will occur here, in Florence. Madonna mia. I'm concerned for the Medici's safety, for his allies' fate, and for our own. Papa! Papa! Father Mafe is here. I want you to come with him immediately. He's not alone. Armed men are with him. Calmity, Filiolo. Why would Lorenzo de' Medici send guards for you? Why? I don't know. Go back and tell my fate that I'm already gone. Buy me some time, Federico. I'm depending on you. You're the eldest. Protect the family. Oh, stop on the 
I told you, my father isn't here. Don't ever doubt the words of an auditory again. Leave this place now. This investigation threatens our plans. Don't worry. I'll deal with Giovanni. I've already got something in mind. And then, nothing will stand in our way anymore. and time is running low. The enemy is closer than I thought. Now, the final battle is about to unfold. Every man is mortal. Every life comes to an end. But certain things will never change. Federico and Ezio, my sons, always remember. We are the Auditori di Firenze, and we are assassins. Yeah. 